everyone, and welcome to the character appraisal of Madoka Kaname from Puella Magi Majojo. <laughs> Sorry. Maho Shoujo Maji. In English, it's Magical Girl Maji. I'll just refer to it as the Madoka anime for your benefit. I shall go through what I like and dislike about the aspiring magical girl and award her a letter grade based on my opinion of all these weighed against the results of the poll I put up on Google+. Plus. Yes, I still use it. That's horrible. The Madoka anime is a dark fantasy horror magical girl anime about a world where young prepubescent girls are granted magical powers by a creature called Kyube in order to battle evil manifestations in the form of witches. Of course, the girls do get one wish in exchange for their services. Madoka Kaname is one of these girls, and the story is about her potential wish which keeps being interfered with by another magical girl for some very strange reason. There is a lot of intrigue and much deeper, mature and surprising action behind the scenes. This is one of those anime that is very story driven and done very well if I may say so right off the bat. Let me be honest, after seeing some initial screenshots, there was no doubt in my mind that I was reminded of Tokyo Mew Mew or its even more cutesy girly English dub, Mew Mew Power. And can you blame me with such striking similarities in the main character's appearances? However, that is where it ends. While there is a lot of flourish and girly moves and of course talk of boys, this anime takes a dark turn that really puts weight on the decisions of the characters, or in the case of Madoka, her indecision. We are shown that the show is about her finding what she would be willing to wish for in exchange for becoming a magical girl. Madoka Kaname, what is the wish which you would trade your soul for? Zeroing in on a potential wish, she takes her life seriously enough to really think things through and has her own opinions but is not rash even if she is emotional and very capable of making spontaneous decisions while letting her feelings show. She wants to really consider everything before she makes her decision and the stuff she has to think through and sacrifice mentally is quite the doozy. <sighs> Madoka is really an exemplary, normal person. She is not eccentric, bold or ambitious or anything like that, but she is far from boring because of the events happening around her and the show manages to somehow legitimately keep her part of the loop as her aspirations are quite straightforward and well normal. Her thought process and the situations that she is confronted with are enough to keep her relevant. Her potential is teased and explained enough to allow for this as well. Even someone like me can do something to help? Can I really change how this ends? Of course you can. Just make a contract with me and become a magical girl. Her relationship with her mother is one forged on mutual trust and openness. She has no qualms about telling her mother things and asking for advice, which is freely given by the way. Even if she does not confide everything, they understand each other on a level that is an embodiment of the wish of a parent and that of the child being blended together with each getting all they could ask from the other. Among her friends, she is the mature motherly type who keeps the group's relationship healthy and is a source of motivation as she inspires her peers and thinks and acts logically and in a way that's best for those she loves. Though of course there are no guarantees of things going according to plan, but her intentions are always good. She is like a traveler taking us on her journey where somehow the most interesting things find her and vice versa, but she herself staying grounded and easy to empathize with. You think talking about the main and title character would be massive spoiler material, but in this case, she was the safest. She is the main character, but she does not get in much of the action. Yes, she is in every part of the journey and her decisions relevant to the entire plot, but we do not really get to explore her and her motivations, but it was necessary in order to give the story its depth and angle. In this, you can pretty much say that Madoka is like a fashion model, only this time she is modeling the story. You may want to know who was modeling the clothes, but the focus of the show at the end of the day are the clothes and their designs. But she does model it very well and in the best way possible, and I wouldn't even change a single thing about it. <laughs> 
Of course, as a consequence, we do not get to see her powers as much as we would like. But the plot was just so awesome, well paced and unraveled in such a way that it necessitated us not knowing her powers till the right moment. But that may leave some feeling that there was way too much teasing here. Though I doubt they would be peeved too much about this because of the short episode count, action and great storyline. In the end, Madoka is a character who is able to support the story without actually having to be the driving force. She is more of an observer whose importance is placed in the possible things she could do. The series is brief enough to prevent this from becoming an exhausting runaround. While still granting closure along with answers to the most important questions it raises. But there is a problem in that the story is what takes front and center above all the other characters, and Madoka, the title character, seems to be the one most affected by this. But for some reason, this does not ruin her performance nonetheless. For this reason, I give her the letter grade of B. as she is not the true star of the show in the usual stance, but still manages to carry it quite impressively. And it appears people on Google Plus agree with me, as the majority of 55% gave her a B as well, while 23% gave her an A, 8% gave a C, 3% a D, and 11% an E to an F. <sighs> that was a crazy dream. And that's it for Madoka Kaname, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and please comment and like and subscribe. And please leave your suggestions for more character appraisals. If you want to vote on the next character's letter grade, just follow me on Google+, and my collection called Zakes Pro Polls. Anyway, it's been fun, I am Zakes, until the next video, take care.